Hello everyone and welcome to Sky Scholar. Today I wish to discuss our present understanding of the cause of the solar wind. As discussed in this classic paper, these ideas relative to the solar wind cannot be correct because the temperatures which are derived are not intensive as required by the laws of thermodynamics. You might recall that we discussed intensive and extensive properties in this video. Intensive properties are those thermodynamic coordinates which can be defined at a single spatial location. They are independent of the mass of the system. Temperature is always an intensive property and this is ingrained in the laws of thermodynamics. Now let us consider the expression at the heart of the theory of the solar wind advanced by Professor Parker in his famous paper. This work has been cited over 3,000 times which makes it one of the most cited papers in astronomy. In describing the expected thermal expansion of the solar corona which leads to the solar wind, Professor Parker advances equation 17 as follows. This looks a little complicated but it is not as confusing as it initially appears. We can define the term psi, lambda and c as follows. G m sub h and k sub b correspond to the universal gravitational constant, the mass of the hydrogen atom and the Boltzmann's constant respectively. Little a is the radial distance of the point of interest in the corona relative to the center of the sun. T sub zero is the temperature at that location. V is the velocity of the solar wind and m sub s is the mass of the sun. Thermodynamically equations two and three have no problem. In equation two, R is neither intensive nor extensive. However, A can be expressed in terms of scalar multiples of R. As a result, this expression is thermodynamically balanced. In equation three, the mass of the proton is a constant and the velocity of the solar wind is intensive. As a result, this expression is thermodynamically balanced. You can simply rearrange equation three and see that T sub zero is indeed intensive. That is because it is expressed in terms of a single intensive property, the velocity, along with a dimensionless parameter, psi, and a group of constants. Finally, we come to equation four. This expression is thermodynamically invalid. Let us rearrange equation four such that the temperature is on the left. Now it can be seen that temperature, an intensive property, is being defined by the mass of the sun, an extensive property, and the radial location at the origin of the solar wind, A, which is a property which is neither intensive nor extensive. The quotient of these two is not intensive. All other terms are either constants or numbers. As a result, at a fundamental level, this expression is not compatible with the laws of thermodynamics. Consequently, this short analysis demonstrates that the solar winds could not have originated through the thermal expansion of a gaseous corona, as Professor Parker has proposed. Once again, temperature must remain an intensive property, and any expression which violates this rule is not compatible with the laws of thermodynamics or with physics. Professor Parker's solar wind analysis cannot be correct because the temperatures which are derived are not intensive as required by the laws of thermodynamics. You can learn more about all of this in the work cited below co-authored with Steve Crothers. If you enjoyed the video today, promote the channel, mention the video to your local astronomy club, support me with a like, and subscribe for more videos as we look more closely at the sun, the stars, and beyond. Comments are always welcome down below and I'll see you soon on our next video.